At the height of the credit crisis, a statement was made saying that should Lehman Brothers have been Lehman Sisters, would things have been different? That credit crisis was largely, as we know, caused by overconfident risk taking. At the time, there was also a lot of talk about group thinking and people were wondering why a lot of the banks were acting in a similar manner. That sort of behaviour is often found in a homogeneous culture, a culture in which there is little room for variation in opinions and beliefs, and indeed leadership. I wonder if we would have experienced so many financial crises should banks and financial institutions be diverse and inclusive, not only in the people they hire, but also in how their voices and opinions are valued and heard. The economic crisis that we are now entering into has completely different causes, of course. But what's not different is the near to complete lack of female CEOs in banking. This crisis will have long-lasting and severe economic effects. As we rebuild our economy this time, I hope that we will focus on real positive change. Women bring different but very important skills to finance compared to men. We tend to take a longer-term approach, be more considerate and collaborative in our decision-making. This is critical for an industry where the complete opposite skill set has been a problem, that of aggressive and overconfident risk-taking. Banks are definitely starting to get the message about the importance of diversity. The big banks have good policies, good internal policies. On the surface, people are offered roles and promotion based on their merit, regardless of their background. But when it comes to allowing diverse voices to be heard around the table, I believe we still have a long way to go. All school way of thinking, our habits and simply what we're used to means it's easier for all of us to hear the usual voice. But unlike when I worked in banking, I believe a lot of the time this is no longer deliberate or even conscious. There will be a continuous improvement as we see an increasing number of female leaders and leaders who represent minorities. They will become role models that others can follow. But this process can be slow and incremental. If we want quicker change, we don't need to fix the women, train the women to fit into the current climate in financial services. Instead, the financial services industry need to look into the future to think about what skills as they need to meet the future demand. For any young woman wanting to enter financial services today, I would like to say three things. Firstly, be confident in your skills. You have exactly what the industry needs, they just don't know it yet. Then, try not to worry too much about what you believe other people think about you. Women spend far too much time concerning themselves about what they think others think of them. It often doesn't match anyway. Instead, focus on demonstrating the skills that you bring. Then, network, network, network. Be confident in your abilities and tell other people about what you can do. The best person to hire is of course the one who can do the job, but is also the person who can find solutions and opportunities that the organisation doesn't know it has yet. And find answers to problems we haven't yet discovered. Be confident that you can be that person.